In today's video, we're talking bath and body, particularly we're talking coffee and whiskey. Let you guys know what I think, let you know what I think about this release. We'll talk fragrance after this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 411. Thank you for joining me today for another fragrance talk. For this one, it's gonna be slightly surprising to some of my viewers, but this is a hyped up fragrance right now from Bath & Body Works. That's right, Bath & Body Works. They do have some bangers every now and then, and I believe this is one of their bangers, all right? This one is called Coffee and Whiskey. So coffee and whiskey, just a bit of backstory here. I've been sampling this fragrance on and off for about two months now. My first impression of this one, when I got it on skin, it didn't wow me. Um, the performance was very fleeting. I got about 45 minutes to about an hour of projection. Then it died down to a skin scent. On my next visit, I went trigger happy. My lady was actually laughing at how much I sprayed on me. I got about 15 to 20 sprays in. Got my trench coat, got my clothes, got some on skin. But when I got home and for that week following, every time I opened my closet door, that coffee and that gourmand whiskey just jumped off of my jacket and it just made the whole closet smell so delicious. So I said in the back of my mind, you know what, I may have to actually pick this one up because it looks like if you go trigger happy, you could kind of get a bit of performance out of this one, all right? 15 to 20 sprays is what got me that type of projection and that type of longevity. On my next visit uh, to pick up some um, wall plugins, I actually saw that there was only one bottle left. On my prior visits, there were a ton of bottles. Even when I go, even when I went to different malls, they were always in stock. Okay, but on this visit to pick up some wall plugins, I realized that they were down to one bottle of coffee and whiskey left. So you know what? I had a ten dollar coupon. This retails for about forty two dollars uh, Canadian, which is okay as far as a Bath and Body scent. Um, but with the coupon, it made it so much more worthwhile for me. With one of my subscribers asking me to review this and this being the last bottle, I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and grab it. One bottle left, maybe it's destiny. So guys, I picked up coffee and whiskey and I will say I'm very happy with the purchase. So let's talk about the bottle before we get into the scent, all right? The bottle is very simple, very simplistic style of bottle. I actually like the simplicity behind this bottle. All right, not too much going on. You got Bath & Body Works on the cap right there. The cap itself has a little bit of weight to it. Um, nothing special. The atomizer itself is not that great. I'll give you guys a quick sample of that. All right guys, so the atomizer is cheap, but the juice is luxurious. I will say the smell of this is very intoxicating, okay? So off first smell, the coffee note is the first thing you get. The coffee is very pronounced in this fragrance. And that's kind of why the, and that's one of the reasons why I gravitated towards it. Cause even though I do have coffee fragrances like Salvatore Ferragamo, Wilmo Signature and Black Phantom, the coffee note is buried in those fragrance with the other notes that are in there. This one, the coffee note is on top and it stays on top the whole time, okay? Amazing, let's get this on skin. Okay, so, so our first sniff, a very faint alcohol smell. Nothing that's gonna deter you or put you off, but there's a slight alcohol tinge to this. But even with that being said, that coffee note does jump through all of that, okay? So coffee is the first thing you get, and it pretty much stays coffee dominant from the life of the fragrance, okay? Now on skin, what I get is a light roasted coffee, like um, a Pike Place or a Blonde with some cream in there. So you're getting a light coffee, a sweet coffee. You're getting a slight touch of whiskey. This is more like a Bailey's, a creamy type of whiskey. You're getting some type of hazelnut facet as well. A slight bit of cacao, like a slight touch of powder, chocolate. And as it dries down, it just gets more creamier and sweeter. All right, there must be some sandalwood in here because once it dries down, you do get a creamy type of sandalwood vibe. The smell itself is a 10 out of 10. The scent itself is very amazing. The scent itself is very delicious. It's a delicious, 
gourmand, warm, inviting, cozy scent. Perfect if you're in a close quarter uh, situation, an intimate situation, whether it be date night, movie night, even just chilling on the couch, this would be a good one to wear as well. So yeah guys, 10 out of 10 as far as the scent, as far as the performance, as I mentioned, the first hour you do get some decent projection, especially if you go heavy on the trigger. Um, after that, it does kind of die down to a skin scent. If it's on your clothes, it will project a lot more. Um, and it stays a skin scent until about five to six hours before it kind of, you know, goes even quieter where you have to really start searching for it. So one hour, great projection. From the one hour mark onwards, it's just dying down. It's coming closer and closer to the skin. You get about five to six hours of life with this one, five to six hours of performance with this one. Um, as far as I can mention clothes, you're gonna get at least a week. So with this one, I've already gotten compliments on this one. Now, these are unsolicited compliments. I don't go out and ask, hey, what do you think about this scent? I've had people tell me that this smells good. Um, at the grocery store yesterday as well, I was in line. I turned around, there were a few people looking at me and I assumed it was my scent. I'm hoping it was my scent. If even people don't give you a comment that you smell good, they might still smell you, just don't say anything to you because they don't really know you, right? Um, but this will get you compliments, guys. Um, as far as the fragrance itself, I think it is worth picking up, especially if you're a coffee lover. Even if you're not a coffee lover, let's say you don't drink coffee, this is still very intoxicating with the light coffee, with the creamy whiskey, and with all the other gourmand scents that's mixed in here, I think you're gonna enjoy this. Now, this is supposed to be a male scent. It is marketed to men. However, I do find a lot of women are actually um, wearing this. Uh, I went on the Bath & Body Works website, and a lot of the comments were from women who bought this themselves, and they say that they love it on them. So guys, if ladies are loving this, they're gonna love it on you as well. It doesn't lean too sweet, so it's not too feminine. It does have a touch of masculinity in there. So fellas, if you're on the fence, don't worry, you can pull this one off. Um, delicious, man. So delicious, so delicious. You know when I rub my hands like this, the scent is good. Rub hands like Birdman again. Now let's give this fragrance a rating. I believe this is an eau de cologne, possibly an eau de toilette concentration. For the first hour, you're gonna get really good projection, especially if you go heavy on the trigger. For the next two to three hours, you'll still get projection. You'll still be able to leave a nice, warm, delicious, gourmand, delectable scent trail. And for the following hours, three to four to five, it does kind of calm down and comes closer to the skin. The trick is to hit this on your clothes. You'll be able to prolong that gourmand scent overall this is a really great fragrance this one is an 8 out of 10 scent i would give it a 9 out of 10 but just i need more performance out of it uh, for me I've, for me having to go 15 sprays and i'm going to run through this bottle very quickly there aren't many bottles left i know when it comes to bath and body scents once they're gone they're gone there are some older bath and body scents going for about 200 to 300 dollars right because that's how good they were and that's how exclusive they were so if you could get your hands on this one get your hands on it you're going to thank me later if I could walk around all day like this, I definitely would because the scent smells so inviting. Oh, it's very addictive, very intoxicating. Um, this is going to be mass appealing. You're going to like this. Your partner's going to like this. So get it if you can. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about coffee and whiskey. Drop me some details in the comment section. Are you familiar with Bath & Body Scents? Because I'm really not. This is my first pickup from them. All right. Do you want to get coffee and whiskey? Do you have coffee and whiskey? What other coffee fragrances can you recommend to me or the subscribers here? All right. Drop that all in the comment section. If you like the video, of course, like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying well, and of course, smelling good. See you guys in the next one. Peace.